Hi, boys and girls. Today is page eight and nine in your letter book, J. And these are our characters that we're used to. So we're going to read this page and then you're going to do some writing on the next page. So let's read this bottom together. Let's pack a picnic said doll, fill up the big basket, said Tig. What they're introducing to you today are these little red marks are called quotation marks. And it's telling you that anything in between those uh, quotation marks is what the person is saying. Because you can see right here, Let's pack a picnic, said doll. Fill up the big basket, said Tig. So here's Tig, and here's doll. And then you can see all the different pictures up here and what they're saying. That's their speech bubble. I bet we've talked about that before. All right, we're going to look at page 9. Uh, you can keep both of your pages open so you can see the pictures that you need to see. I must cut the lemons, said, who do you think is going to cut the lemons by looking at the picture? Yes, I think you're right. I think Doll is going to cut the lemons. What is she going to make with her lemons? Yes, yummy lemonade. All right, let's look at this next one. Notice the quotation marks. This is someone speaking. I must get a big melon, said, look at your picture on page eight, who is saying they must get a big melon? Ted, very good. So you're going to write Ted right here, said Ted, said doll. Okay, quotation marks again, somebody is talking. Let's grill hot dogs said, who is in the picture wanting to grill hot dogs? Ed, very good. So you're going to say, said, Ed. I can pack the buns, said, <clears throat> who do you think is going to pack the buns? I think it's Ed again, you're right. He's got the buns in his hand on page eight. I can pack the buns, said Ed. And the last one says, the ducks will get scraps, said. Who is thinking about the ducks? Yes, Tig. So you're going to write Tig in this last one. All right, so let's look just a little bit closer at these quotation marks. Quotation marks, what the person is saying and then a comma, and close the quotation marks. And then you say, said, whoever said it. So I'm going to practice one right here. I'm going to do it way up at the top. Quotation marks. I, finger space, can, Finger space, do, finger space, my, finger space, work. And I'm finished speaking, so I'm going to put a comma, quotation marks, said, and you all know my first name, Lisa. If you want to write that sentence or a period, the end of the sentence. If you want to write that sentence, I can do my work, comma, quote, said Anya. I can do my work, comma, quote, said Winston. Or you can practice some other sentences in between these sentences, practicing your quotation marks and the word said. I believe this we've already had as one of our sight words, so we should be good on that. All right, I hope you enjoyed the lesson today.
read it carefully, and then after you finish everything, you can go back and read it again with all of your characters' names on the lines. All right, very good. See you next time.